Have you ever spent hours, no days, no weeks searching just to find the perfect NFT project that you know is going to take off? You go to Rarity Tools, you go to upcoming collections, you scroll, you scroll, you look at every single website, every Discord, every single Twitter channel. You go to YouTube to find your favorite YouTuber. You watch all their videos, you like every video, you subscribe, you find out all the best projects that are dropping soon. You go absolute bananas with your researching. And now it's the day of the launch. You set multiple alarms, 10 minutes, 15 minutes before launch, you're gonna get to your computer, you're gonna get everything set up and you're gonna make this project. You go to the website and then this is what you see. What the Your heart sinks. You knew this was the project. You're gonna go on OpenSea later tonight and see that since mid price we're up 10X, no, 20X even. So how do you make sure that you're never gonna get that error message again? Whether you live in the middle of nowhere with barely any internet connection or you have the highest of high speeds, in this video, I'm going to show you how to avoid minting from the website and mint directly from the smart contract so you avoid anything that could possibly ruin your chances of getting the project that you want to mint. We're going to go over the benefits of minting straight from the contract. I'm going to show you exactly where to find the contract itself and then how to write the contract once you finally find it. There are two main benefits when it comes to minting directly from the contract. The first benefit is you can avoid any mistakes possibly created by the development team itself, whether their website wasn't set up correctly to handle the amount of traffic. You don't have to worry about any of that. The second benefit and the personal reason why I almost exclusively only mint from the contract is that you can see other contracts going through and you can see exactly how much they're spending on gas and you can determine if you need to up your gas fee to get your contract to go through. For more on winning a gas war, check out this video that I made right above. Okay, the first thing we have to do is find the contract. And for this example, we're gonna use Divine Wells because they minted this morning. There are four possible places that I search to find the contract address. The first is just on the website. Do they have any sections on their website where they say, hey, look, here's our official smart contract address. And for Divine Wolves, I can't actually find that. So the second place I look is I'm gonna go down to the frequently asked questions section. Here they have questions like, how can I get my Divine Wolf? What is the minting price and how many can we mint per wallet? Since it doesn't look like they have it here, the third place I'm gonna look is on the Discord. I'm gonna go onto their Discord, I'm gonna search through their channels and what I'm looking for normally is if it's not up here in the collection info, it should be in the official links. So for Divine Wolves, they only have their Twitter, website, and OpenSea. They don't actually have their contract. So what I'm going to do is look in the fourth and final place. The fourth place and the most foolproof place, you'll never not find it here, is looking at it on OpenSea. So I'm going to go into the Divine Wolves collection. I'm going to scroll to any one of the items in the collection. You scroll down to where it says details and you see contract address and you find this link right here and click on that. This brings you to the official smart contract for Divine Wolves. Now that we're here, we're going to click on contract. Now that we're inside the contract, there's two things that I want to find. To find these, you're going to click on this button right here that says read contract. The two things I'm trying to look at is how many can I mint myself and what the cost of one individual NFT is. So they have two options. They give me max mint amount per transaction and the max mint amount per wallet. When I click on either, it says that the answer is one for the max mint period. Then when I look for cost, you see it right here, but you get this weird number seven with a lot of zeros. Click into it. This is the unit converter. It says that if you're looking in ether, if you look over here, this is actually going to cost 0.07 ETH. Okay. Now that I know that I can mint one and it's going to be 0.07 for the mint price, let's write the contract. You're going to go back up right next to where it says read contract or where it says write contract. You're gonna click that and right now you see this button is red, connect to Web3, you wanna click this button. It's gonna prompt you to connect to your MetaMask. Now the button should be green and say connected. We're gonna scroll down to where it says mint. This is the important part. Say for example, this NFT project was actually allowing us to mint five per transaction. That's what I wanted to do. I think this project's gonna take off, I wanna mint five. So the amount in, I'm gonna mint right here is gonna be five NFTs in the payable amount, you're not gonna put 0.07. You're gonna put 0.07 times five. So you're gonna put 0.35. But in this case, we're actually only gonna do one for the min amount and we're gonna do the 0.07. So right now we have the amount and we have the price. We're gonna click this button that says write and it's gonna bring up your MetaMask wallet. So they already minted out. So we're gonna get this fail transaction that says this transaction is expected to fail. Trying to execute it is expected to be expensive but fail and is not recommended. Basically, if you ever see insane gas prices where it's like, 
hey, it's $10,000 to mint, that most likely means they're out of supply and they've minted out. But we're gonna pretend that we're not getting an error message that this is actually the mint time, so we're gonna go ahead and mint one. So we're gonna click on right, It'll bring up our MetaMask, we'll go down right here. Normally is where we're gonna click edit. We're gonna edit the gas fee that we're gonna add to it. We're gonna double check all our numbers, make sure they're correct, and then we're gonna click confirm. And that's it. Now you know how to directly mint from the smart contract itself. This has saved me dozens of times from not being able to get a project that I really want to mint, only from knowing this small trick of how to directly mint from the contract. If you got some value from this video, please do me a favor and like the video and subscribe for more videos just like this.